So, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. That was a pretty interesting thing that you just did on stage and a good association, good partnership. You've been partners now with OPPO for a while, but let's get down to the essence of it all. Eventually, partnerships and brands and all is all great. It's what you really get out of the device, right? I mean, after all, you're the brand ambassadors. This is what millions of people are going to go out there and actually buy based on the fact that you three really liked it. So let's get down to the brass tacks of it. What do you personally really love about this phone? See, I am someone who loves to click pictures and... Yeah, we've seen yeah. A, a lot of those. That, yeah. that example is out there and for the world yeah, to see. It, it has amazing camera. It has 24 megapixels, which I really love. You know, I tried just clicking pictures in the shoot as well. It, it came out pretty well and I uploaded a few as well on my social media. So, which I love, you know, that it's something for me in the phone, it has to have an amazing camera, which this phone definitely has. Okay, great. So it's the camera, the 25 megapixel front camera that's doing it for you, and proof is out there on social media. Rohit, for you, what do you really like? I mean, there has to be something that really came out that you really enjoy. To be honest, it's, you know, the entire phone, to be honest, to start with, because it's quite elegant. And, you know, you see so much color, and, uh, you know, it's, it's elegant which you know suits my personality as well uh, but again my favorite uh, feature of this is the full the full screen and uh, it allows me to uh, play games on the uh, on the flight and uh, yes you know it's a high definition uh, uh, games that i play and you know it's without any miss lag you know there is no lag so I, I feel, you know, it suits, uh, uh, completes my purpose, uh, whatever I want to do. So screen's taken, camera's taken. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm compelled What's to say something else. that you really, really love on it? Because the two major, major features of this brand new phone are taken. What so did you I love? think like they dwelled upon, uh, you can't really ignore the fact that this got one of the best cameras and especially with the introduction of artificial intelligence, I mean, which is, which is how I think the world's going to go forward. And this, this is especially an era which is being powered by social media. It's uh, definitely going to be the front phase wherein you want to see who you are. You want the best possible image of yours being portrayed in a picture. But I still think a gadget needs to be really, a, really money for jam, you know. I think it's got the value for money and uh, that's, that's what most people will be looking at. And uh, in, that, in that, I think really, this really ticks the box. So we've got awesome camera. Love the screen and the gaming part, and it's also perfect value for money. But let's get down to, I think, the part that also is something that I think the entire, the millions of people watching you three right now will be very intrigued, and that's the amount of technology that you actually use in your daily life, right? But in terms of just tech, there's so much of it around between cars, between other devices. How much tech do you use? I mean, I use a lot. Uh, in the gen current generation, I, it's difficult to live without the phone or any technology because everything depends on that. as. Rose said that we travel so much that we don't see our family much, so the video call is helping us. And yeah. so obviously our life is surrounded by technology and which we all I mean, are used to it and we all require it. But there's a lot of tech that has come into cricket from the way we as viewers see it, from the way you as the person who's actually playing cricket out there, the amount of tech, I mean, uh, from stump vision to the snicker part to the way the cameras are all coming in. Does that at some point also threaten the way you are? I mean, are you, are you happy with all that tech around in cricket or does it take away from some of the purity of the game? I mean, uh, in, in essence, I think cricketers try and stay insulated from most of it uh, because it makes it really difficult for you to cope with the day-to-day -day, uh, happenings and the kind of uh, technology that's being portrayed into the game. And it's also been displayed. It's more viewership, ideally, to try and explain the game better to the people who don't exactly play the game but like technology is something that's become a day-to-day -day living for everybody I don't think people can if you all of a sudden pull the phone out of them the smartphone out of them I think day-to-day -day living might become a challenge uh, in the existing situation because everything has become uh, technology your uh, travel your commutation your uh, searching and all these things are playing a day-to-day -day role in our lives and that it is so so important to have a smartphone that enables you to do it at a finger touch or a finger uh, but you know, they say it's also tech that also is getting a lot of the new controversies, the sandpapering controversy. Could it have happened without tech? All the cameras are there and suddenly you're out there and whatever the, the, the people... What, what is your opinion? Uh, how can something like this be even thought of, this, this thing that happened with the Australian team? Uh, did they not realize that there are cameras? What, what is your thought on this? How could this have happened? 
I mean, these things happen in the heat of the moment, and it's uh, very difficult sitting at a at a distance and uh, commenting on what they, what might have unfolded or what might have happened in the dressing rooms. Um, it can happen, and I'm not trying to stand for it. But uh, the fact remains that we'll have to be, like you said, it is entirely tech-driven, and we'll have to be extra careful, especially when you are in the public eye, and we have a responsibility to carry out yourself in the utmost dignified manner as possible. So that is one of the disadvantages of technology growing so much. But I would say it is literally dictating play in terms of cricket and life for everybody. I don't know what must have happened there. Uh, I was, like you said, I was uh, holidaying uh, when this news broke out. Uh, to be honest, I was shocked. But again, we just uh, we were involved getting... in the phones. So, <laughs> uh, we didn't get Actually, if, if probably technology hadn't gone gone this far, yeah. we might not be talking about it so much. Yeah, so. I mean, it is, it is. It's, it's that that awareness. So, so, so even when you heard about this, did the honesty shock you in any which way? I didn't know. I, I I'm not a guy who keeps on checking all this. So I was not even in. I didn't even knew. In fact, we have to tell him what time the match starts. Yeah, so I avoid all that. <laughs> okay, busy taking selfies. Busy yeah. taking selfies. Yeah, I think that, that that's the part that I think. So, so between cricket and selfies, I don't know which one is a bigger passion, right? <laughs> okay, my last question is uh, it's called my island question. Okay, and that is it's a very simple one. If you were to be marooned on an island and you had the choice to take one person that you'd be marooned with and one device, what would they be? A device now has to be a smartphone and person I'm okay I'm all, I'm all okay by myself <laughs> okay so no one with you at all no I'm okay well, I'm a good loner. anybody that comes to mind that you'd like to be marooned on an island with definitely my wife <laughs> yeah, I'll say yeah, no that part I know it. because we'll be yeah. seeing about 2000 <laughs> pictures coming in from um, there whichever way but who's the person I'll, say, I'll be all alone I'll be pretty all right I don't need to take someone are you uh, I, yeah. <laughs> I can take my okay. brother the other yeah. two people have not believed it at all that you would want to do this alone uh, they, they, they I know like, oh yeah right <laughs> I know what Roy means but I mean I, I I understand I mean when you're given a choice to be on an island you might as well be all nobody alone nobody goes to island alone all right, gentlemen, congratulations once again and best of luck. Uh, lots of interesting things, including the IPL coming up. So best of luck out there and best of luck for a great launch. Thank you so Thank much you. for speaking with us. Thank you.